Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 47, Dapper Dinosaurs. Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I'm back at Lippmann Party Supply, the Lippmann Company. And uh, I'm going to be doing some dinosaurs. So here I'm doing a sketch of a velociraptor playing a electric guitar. And I'm also going to put a, a top hat on him and also a bow tie. So I tape this to the window. You can see me in reflection. <laughs> Shaking it up, pouring my white, rolling it out, and away I go. So yeah, you can see on the left I've got the sketch. And that's the only one I sketched out. The other ones I just did on the window. But this one, because it has electric guitar, it's, you know, it's more detailed and it's a pose. You know, a specific pose. So it's good to have reference. I did change his leg, though, you can see. I have him kneeling down. But uh, he came out really good. I got his hands pretty good. And he's uh, strumming the guitar. And uh, he's got a good expression. I have some black glasses on him and a purple hat. His feet came out good too. And he's kneeling down. That foot took me a while to get the position right. But you can see here he's standing. Here's some little background things. And I'm working on a volcano. And then this is a balloonosaurus. And you put balloons on his back and he blows them up. And then he holds them in with his tail for the kitties. <laughs> he just goes blows up the balloons anyway and this is a party dactyl and uh, he came out pretty good too I uh, he's right next to the balloonosaurus I've got a hat on the balloonosaurus now and I'm gonna have the party dactyl saying <clears throat> what you never seen a balloonosaurus before <laughs> I love painting volcanoes I do them a lot for the tropical themes and stuff with the faces on them big purple volcanoes but uh, a few Christmases ago, I painted a Christmas theme with dinosaurs. That's what they wanted. And uh, I did, uh, you know, a lot of people say the word cellar door is the, the most beautiful word in the English language. But uh, I really like uh, <clears throat> Ball Candy Kano. So when I did this Christmas design with a volcano, I had candy shooting out of it, like Christmas candy. But Ball Candy Kano, I just love that. I love that word. Okay, I'm back and I'm working on the volcano. So I'm laying out some of the black and I had to use my cell vinyl. I usually buy black and I should have just bought it because it's, it's close to Halloween. I usually buy a gallon of black every Halloween because I do a lot of black. But anyway, I ended up using my cell vinyl, which is more expensive because I had to paint all this area black. About five windows. There's a couple other windows right of this too where I paint prehysterical with purple letters on it and party. And... Uh, it came out good. Then I did the, on the volcano, check it out, like in the middle you use white and then you go yellow and then you do the orange around the edge. And uh, you kind of blend the colors together, but you have the white all go all the way down and it really creates an effect, you know, a look that makes it look like a explosion, like a real, real volcanic explosion because that's how it would look. There'd be white in the middle, that's where all the, the hot stuff is. And then here I am trimming it, I'm trimming it out. And also if you notice on the clouds too, or the smoke, you use a yellow to highlight it. You go underneath like this. You just highlight the bottom. So this came out pretty good, the lava around the top of the volcano. And again, yeah, see the yellow highlights? That's something to remember if you're doing black smoke. Here I'm just filling it in with gray. I usually do like kind of a purple color, but because I'm using a lot of purple in other parts of the window, and the characters and stuff, like there's a purple pterodactyl or party dactyl. Okay, here I'm taking my dark gray. I just took that gray and added some black and putting in some. And it, the camera should have been lower, but you don't get to see the face I'm drawing. <laughs> the camera should have been higher. But you'll see it later. Here, uh, while everything's drying, I went in and I'm using kind of a like a dusty aqua, aqua color, I guess. Filling in some uh, lettering. Goes good with the purple. 
Now here I am working on the on the uh, the volcano. I added a face to him, and his cheeks are all blown up. He has like rock cheeks. <laughs> People really like this. I I loaded uh, I did a a still of this on Instagram and got a lot of likes on this one. People really liked it. And uh, I think I got it sped up like three times here, and then I you know, took some of the sections out so it wouldn't be sitting here all day watching this part. Because there's a lot to see in this video, so I think it's about 12 minute video. It's pretty long. But he came out good. He's pretty expressive. And I re in the video too, I repeat a lot of stuff. And this is cool, like the uh, once you outline it with the black. And then I also added blam at the top. It really adds a lot of uh, action. Animated this was a fun window, really, really fun. I love doing Lipman Company. Here's the party dactyl next to the Blunosaurus. And the Blunosaurus is coming along, I added a hat too. Here I'm rolling in the, the color on the Blunosaurus. I wanted to use a brown because all the balloons, I'm using every single color, so I wanted to do that. But here's the, the Merry Dactyl. He's He's done some of this stuff is out of order because I show how he do the hats too. But uh, you get the idea. But he came out he came out really good. People love the balloonosaurus. <laughs> it's like a volcano decano. So anyway, I'm backtracking here. I, you see how I do the blue, and then I just cover it over, and it makes a really subtle, you know, shadow, which is really cool. And it makes even a brighter shadow if you use a color that doesn't have as much white. Like this pink and yellow have white in it. If they didn't have white, it would it would be more pronounced, the, the difference. But that way you don't have to draw shadows or stripes. And I end up outlining them and stuff too. And this is a little character I did. He's really cute. Anyway, I'm back to the... To the my character, the rock and raptor. My friend John said rock and raptor, <laughs> so I'm sticking with it. Here I'm beefing up his nails. This part's kind of cool. I'm using uh, you can use a straight edge if you want, but I actually use a, a the broom the broom handle and uh, to get a straight line because it's really challenging to get straight lines like this just freehand. I can do it but it's it, it doesn't come out quite as good and it's painful. So this is a little trick here. And I don't I don't worry if the lines are totally totally solid. I'd rather just make sure I have a guideline so I run it down because if you see on the on the left side in the left part of the um, of the video it's kind of thin at the bottom. But see, I just come back and uh, you'll see me just kind of freehanding it. And then a lot of this stuff I just, yeah, like, like I said, I just freehand. And, but now I'm going in with a line, I, just with my hand, I can kind of, I can kind of follow it because I'm pretty good at steady hands. But still, I needed a guide for it. And then this part I just do by hand real quick. It's a cartoon after all. <laughs> And I don't worry if it's totally accurate or if it's a four string or a bass or a six string. Here I am going in and doing the the Rock and Raptors glasses. And I have them tilted up a little. You notice his glasses are tilted up a little. It kind of makes them a little bit, you know, uh, mischievous looking. It's not evil or anything, but and uh, but he came out he came out really really good. And I was going to do a, a T-Rex, but I decided to do him instead. So, if, you know, because the T-Rex playing a guitar, he would have been, had to have been huge. So I thought a Velociraptor would be the next best thing. And he's coming out really good. This whole window came out really sharp. And I spent a lot, I spent a few hours longer on it than I usually do. But I don't care. It's worth it. And uh, people, people enjoy it. Kids really love the Blunosaurus. They're really tripping out on it.
people would walk by and I'd be like, hey, they discovered a new dinosaur. They're like, really? I'm, yeah, it's a Balloonosaurus. <laughs> Haven't you heard of the Balloonosaurus before? <laughs> ah, this is fun. So fun doing the black. Seems like the more I do it, the better I get at it. It's just like any art or craft. Oh, there's this little guy. He came out pretty good. I like the shadows on, on here. I don't know why it's doing that. It's like fading in and fading out. I kind of messed up on all that. Anyway, he's all finished. And uh, these next few shots, I... I hope they're not redundant, but I wanted to make sure you could see everything close up, too. These backgrounds cool, like the little volcano in the background and the dinosaur chomping on the tree in the background. And here I try to pull back, but it's, it's kind of hard because there's cars there and I'm trying to move around and stuff and get a shot of it. But, uh, and I love this lettering here. came out good. I can't believe it's been 11 minutes. That was a fast video, actually. It seemed like it's crazy. Anyway, that's all of it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>